Hey you, today we're gonna set up your business email address with SiteGround and we're gonna manage all your incoming and outgoing emails from Gmail for free. Yes, an email with your website domain.com and maybe your name at the front and this will make you look professional which is essential for your personal brand. And no, you don't need to pay a monthly fee to G Suite to manage your business email on Gmail. Now the fact is if you have hosted your domain name on SiteGround, you have the ability to create multiple business emails for free and you have access to this webmail where you can manage the incoming and outgoing email for your business email. But when it comes to managing emails, it is not ideal because most of the time we'll be checking our emails on the phone. So we need an app like Gmail to do the job for us. So what we're going to do since we are starting afresh is to set up a new Gmail account first. And since we have bought Jack Chow TV on our first video of this series, you can check out the playlist here if you want. We will set up a Gmail account with Jack Chow TV at gmail.com. So if you want to start everything afresh, then follow along, create a new Gmail account, and then we will manage your business email on that account and don't forget to smash that like button if this tutorial worked for you so we'll quickly create a gmail account so we'll click create an account first name last name jack chow tv at gmail.com password next and put in my phone number and click next verify it and then put in your date of birth select gender next skip i agree so there we have it we have our new gmail account now we need to set up our business email from siteground so we'll head over to siteground so we are on siteground and now we need to click on websites and then your website hosted on SiteGround will appear. We need to click on Site Tools. And then you need to click on Email Accounts over here, or you can click on Email and then Account over here. And this is the page you can create or manage your existing email accounts. And as you can see, there's no email accounts that is created. So the first thing you want to do is to select the correct domain you want to create an email on. And since this is the only domain that is hosted on this account, by default, it is that domain. Then you want to create maybe sales, support, admin, or whatever alias you want, and then add whatever domain yours is. So I'll create maybe admin at jackchowtv.com and then next you either want to create your own password or you can generate a secured password so the generated password is going to be very hard for you to remember so you want to save it somewhere or for me i like to create a password of my own and then once that's done click on create and it's done we have our business email but now we need to link it up to gmail so over here at the bottom you need to click on this so technically this email is already set up you can send mail you can receive mail to this email and you can actually access those emails through this web mail that siteground has provided so let's check it out as you can see, you can manage your emails over here, but this is not exactly what we are looking for. It's very hard for us to manage our emails on this platform. So normally I like to manage all my emails at one place on my phone and we all have Gmail and that's where I want to manage all my emails on. So what I would do is go back to site tools and we need to click on this and we need to click on manage configuration and click on manual settings. And these are the details we need to link it up to Gmail. So now let me put SiteGround and Gmail side by side so it's easy for us to refer. So here we are, we have SiteGround on the left and Gmail on the right. So on Gmail, what we wanna do is to click on this gear, the settings, and we wanna click on see all settings. And then we wanna click on accounts and import. And then over here, check mail from other accounts. We want to add a mail account. So the email address we have created is admin at jacktowtv.com. We want to copy that. I'm going to paste it here and click on next. And then this is selected by default. I wouldn't want to change it. Click on next. And then the username is this as well. We'll highlight this and then we'll paste our email address. And then the password is the one that you've created on SiteGround. And then the pop server, you can basically see it here. Incoming server is jackchowtv.com. So we have to remove the mail. And then for the pop server, there's a port number. And over here on SiteGround, you can see that the pop server port is 995. So over here back on Gmail, we want to select 995. And then next, I want to check this as well as this. And then we're done. Let's click on add account. 
and then immediately they will also ask you would you like to send email through your business email you can either do that later but i'll prefer to do it now and then this is the name you want to be associated with your email i'll leave it as it is and i'll click on next step so the SMTP server is translated to the data on SiteGround and it's the outgoing server. So I want to copy this and paste it here. And then for the SMTP port, if you look over to SiteGround, you can see SMTP ports 465. So over here, we want to select 465. And the username is over here, which is your email address. And the password is the same as what you've generated or created on SiteGround. And when this is done, I will not mess with this. I'll just click on add account. And now over here, Google will send a verification code to your new email address. So you need to head on over to SiteGround's webmail to retrieve the code. So we'll go over to SiteGround actions. We want to log into webmail. And as you can see, we have received the email from Gmail. And here's the confirmation code. We want to copy this, paste it on Gmail and verify. And we are done. So now let's test whether the email works. We want to go to inbox and then we want to click on compose. We want to change from to the Gmail account and then to admin at jackchildtv.com. Test, test, and let's send it. And there you have it. This shows that it's working. You're receiving email on your business email. And let's try to send an email from your business email. So we click on compose, select from admin at jackchildtv.com, which is your business email, and we send it to the Gmail account. Test, send, in the inbox, we see it over here. And this is from your business email address. Awesome, we are done. So that's how you create a business email address on SiteGround and manage it on Gmail for free. Now, if you want to have more security features and managing a team of people as your business grows, you may want to consider G Suite, which is a little costly in my opinion. It costs around maybe six USD per month if I'm not wrong. But for me, I manage my business emails and my team on Zoho, which costs around $1 per month, which makes total sense to me. If you want to check Zoho out, I've left the link in the description. But honestly, if you're just starting out managing your business email on a free gmail account makes total sense to me so i hope this video is helpful and if you can smash that like button for the youtube algorithm it will really help this channel out and it will help this video reach out to more people who needs this info so thank you for that and if you have any questions about setting this up feel free to leave a comment down below also don't forget to subscribe and check out the links in the description this video is part of the start your personal brand website video series the full course module plan is in the description I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.